I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of time. Hey, Life for Tribe. Welcome to another video living life with your girl, Stay. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate each and every one of you. And since you're here, you might as well consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming a permanent part of the Life for Tribe. So it has been a minute since we've had a meeting in the ladies room, but I am actually getting ready for my first podcast live stream here on YouTube. I will be going live every Monday and Thursday for Mindset Mondays and Thirsty Thursdays. So today is Thursday, February 1st, and I'm just trying to do a little something with this face before I go live. But I thought I would do a little mini get ready with me chit chat about some ish I witnessed from a vlogger here on the good YouTube. But let me start getting my little stuff together because y'all know I will start running my mouth and uh, not even doing my face. So yeah, the multitasking thing, not one of my finer strong suits. But anyway, y'all, just some e.l.f. primer, but this is not going to be a tutorial of any stretch of the imagination. We're really just going to chit chat story time. So I have a few YouTubers that I watch on a regular basis. They vlog regularly, have weekly, twice a week, three times a week videos. So I kind of keep up with them and watch and, you know, kind of like-minded, whatever. It's hard for me to find vloggers in my age group, but you know, I still can learn something from the younger ones. But this particular lady, she's younger than me, but I think she's at least like in her forties. And so I watch her. She has a family, whatever. Seems really cool. And I was watching her one day and she had announced that evidently I missed the vlog where she was doing a giveaway. And so she did some kind of giveaway. I'm assuming it was over the holiday holidays because she said that the giveaway was based on people making a comment and sharing with her something that they would really love to be able to do, but was not able to do it. Let me fix this lighting. Well, I always say, let me fix the lighting, but then when I look at the video, it seems to be okay. Yeah, that seems way too bright. But anyway, so she was doing this contest for people to put in the comments something they would really like to do, but they were unable to do at that time for whatever reason. And the way she was gonna pick the winner was just read through the responses to that comment and whoever's comment, I guess, kind of stuck out to her, touched her heart, whatever, was gonna be the winner. And I can't remember what she was giving away. I feel like it was like a designer bag or backpack, something like that. And so she shared that she had gotten the comment that she wanted to choose as the winner. And the person who commented said that what they would like to do is be able to, I guess, move or, you know, do an addition, but she would like to provide her daughters with their own personal space in the house. So when she read the question or the comment rather or response, it led me to believe that this woman maybe lives in a smaller house or maybe a small apartment and she has some daughters who are maybe sharing a room or maybe she's only in a one bedroom. So maybe they're, you know, sleeping in the living room, on the sofa bed, you know, whatever. I just, they don't have their own private space. And so she said that that comment really stood out to her and so that lady was going to be the winner of the contest. So she reached out to the lady, let her know that she was the winner of the contest and then told the young woman that in order for her to get her prize, she needed to send an email and you know, she provided her with the email address and give her government name because you know how sometimes people i need new brushes y'all sometimes people on social media you know aren't using their actual name and so i guess she wanted to be sure and so and she never said the lady's name or whatever but i'll get to that part anyway um but she told her to send her name and her mailing address so that she could get her prize so the lady responded 
and sent her name and her mailing address. So, the YouTuber now is saying, I don't know if I want to give this woman the prize because all she sent me was her name and mailing address. So, all she sent, for instance, was Stay Hall 5309 McPherson Suite 109 or 105. Like, that's my P.O. box. So, all she did was that. That was it in the response to the email. And she felt as though the lady was ungrateful because she didn't say, thank you, oh my God, I can't believe I won, um, this is so exciting. All she did was give her name and email address. And so now the YouTuber was contemplating on whether or not she was even going to give the lady the prize because she felt like there was some sense of entitlement or ungratefulness because all she did was give the name and address. Made me feel some kind of way. Now, I don't know how y'all feel about that, but you know I'm real big on soft skills and emotional intelligence. And I put maybe a little bit of a higher responsibility for those of us who are out in the public eye for whatever reason we're dealing with people we have kind of volunteered to be a communicator um everybody doesn't operate on the same level when it comes to communication soft skills people skills interpersonal skills whatever and the expectation of the lady was unfair and not ever communicated because what was asked was number one in order to participate leave a comment letting us know something that you would like to do and you're unable to do at this time the lady did that the second ask of her was to now respond to this email with your legal name and mailing address the lady did that nothing said respond with your words of gratefulness respond with a huge thank you this woman may be someone who is socially awkward um, maybe she doesn't do a lot of communicating maybe she meant no harm maybe she's the type of person who follows instructions to the t she did exactly what was asked of her but to consider Taking back your promise of giving someone a gift, a prize that they won fair and square is so wrong in my opinion. What do y'all think? I mean, because she did what was asked of her. Like you have no idea what this woman might be dealing with. You have no idea what kind of communicator she is. And you are just based on one very vague interaction gonna consider her to be ungrateful and I was saying how she never gave the woman's name now I don't know because I haven't gone back to look and I, I went back and forth myself about that um, but I, I don't know if she's left the woman's comment on there or whatever but let's just say she did you are not giving her name but you've read her comment verbatim you've referenced what video the comment was on and so now if you've left the comment on there you've left it wide open for internet trolls social media trolls to now go find the comment and on your behalf say mean and nasty things to this lady possibly i don't know if that's happened also you don't know this lady's situation. You don't know her communication style. You don't know if she got your email in the midst of working her third job that might be a third shift job at four o'clock in the morning where she's not allowed to use her phone or whatever, but she got that email and was afraid to not respond quickly because she didn't want to miss her opportunity. So all she had time to do was send her name and address. Like, I'm thinking outside the box because 
Number one, it's not even that deep. You're giving it away. That's what you said you were going to do. Why are you being so like serious about it? But you just don't know people's circumstances. So when you put yourself out there to deal with the masses, you cannot expect this cookie cutter, oh, this is how it's going to look. And if you are doing a good deed and you felt that this person was deserving of this good deed based on what they responded to, how could you so quickly change your mind and not care about her and her daughters and their space and trying to make you know, them smile despite the fact that she can't do what she wants to do? Like, Why is that all of a sudden no longer important because she didn't give me my shine? And so... I know I'm saying a lot of stuff because where was I going? Oh, because also I would assume if the woman participated in your contest that she's probably a subscriber to your channel. So even if you did remove her comment so that other people can't see who she is, you have now risked hurting her feelings based on something that could have not even been intentional at all and so when she watches this vlog now her feelings are hurt like dang that that wasn't even my intention like i am grateful i'm very excited i just responded the way she asked me to respond or i was just in a hurry and didn't even think about it and maybe she was waiting to say thank you until after she received the gift like you just you never know so i don't know what y'all think about it but that just rubbed me the wrong way right so i watched it that rubbed me the wrong way. I paused the video and I went to go tell my husband about it. And cause he watches um, this person's vlogs with me every once in a while. Cause they travel sometimes and different stuff. Um, but anyway, I went to tell him about it. And as I was talking to him about it, another part of the story where I am involved indirectly popped in my head that I have, hadn't even thought about. So. Y'all know that um, I've written a couple of books and every once in a while I send people books and whether it's an influencer, whether it's somebody that maybe I come across in one of my um, speaking engagements, um, you know, whatever, just certain people I will share my book with. And again, this lady being a mom, she's married. Um, you know, she does a lot of the same things I like to do. She seems to be a very spiritual woman. I sent her a book. <laughs> Forgot all about it when I was watching that vlog and got like so irritated by how she was responding to the lack of this woman's response. I forgot until I was talking to my husband that I had sent her the book. But guess what? I never heard from her. And when I send people books, I always send with tracking and I always pay attention to make sure that the book had been delivered. Well, she got the book. And she got the book back in October. I sent all my information. I sent my business card. She has my email. She has my phone number. She has my YouTube. She has all my other social media. I haven't gotten a thank you from her. I haven't gotten a... And she didn't win a contest. I just did this literally just like, you know what? I really like her content. She's really cool. Let me go ahead and send her a book. Now, I've sent other YouTubers books and I've gotten a thank you. Um, you know, a response, oh, I can't wait to use this. So excited, this is right on time. I've had two YouTubers actually talk about my book on their YouTube channel. And I sent them without any expectation, but that's what happened. But then there's others, whether it was somebody, you know, whoever, not just YouTubers that I've sent the book to and haven't heard anything from them. But guess what? When I send the books or give a book or whatever, I forget about it because I did what I wanted to do. I don't send the books waiting for somebody to give me my shine and to say, oh my God, stay, thanks so much um, for sending me this book. Oh, you're so wonderful. Like I send it and I don't even think about it clearly because I did not even think about me sending this particular YouTuber my book until I was talking to Wallace about it and just saying, I started talking about me. I was just like, yeah, you know, when I give people things, I never have any expectation, you know, unless I'm letting somebody borrow something or whatever and we have an understanding of how this is going to go down. But when I just decide to give something out of the kindness of my heart, 
I just give it and keep moving. So I was telling him about that, you know, just like, yeah, I'm just never like that. I don't even bother to pay attention to what, you know, people were saying. Because again, especially when you're dealing with strangers, you don't know what their situation is. And when I thought about that, I'm like, so not only do I think that that wasn't cool for her to, and she didn't say on the video whether or not she was going to give the lady the book. Um, actually, she kind of ended the video right there. I mean, it had been a regular vlog and that's just kind of what she was talking about at the end and she kind of ended it with, I don't know, you know, should I send it to her, you know, whatever and kind of left a cliff cliffhanger. So I don't know what happened because that's another thing. I haven't been able to watch her since. I, just, I don't know why that bothered me so much, y'all, but it really did. I forgot to put some of this on the sides of my nose but yeah it just really bothered me i don't know what do y'all think am i making too much of it or <sighs> i don't know it just really bothered me and i just feel like that is something that we all need to understand is if you are not truly giving from your heart if you are not truly ready to part with whatever it is without any expectation then don't do it don't do it because it is not fair to give something and then take it back. It's just not fair. And it's definitely not fair to out somebody on the World Wide Web without even knowing what their situation is or what they're going through. Like, I don't know. I just thought of so many things because there's also people out here who... You know, if you respond to them and you put a whole dissertation, they're like, shoot, all I asked for was your name and address. You ain't have to write a whole paragraph. Like, you know, you just never know. You never know. But I just felt bad. And so I had considered going back into um, that video and looking for the comment and reaching out to that lady and sending her a copy of my book. But I don't know. I just was like, let me just leave well enough alone because what if she didn't see you know the what if she didn't see the video what if she doesn't know how she felt and then i also was like i'm not going to take myself down that rabbit hole of reading possible comments where people might be saying something you know i don't know i just figured i should stay stay out of it at this point but what do y'all think do y'all think i should try to find out who the lady is and send her a book and i really don't know if this uh youtuber and see, here I am. I don't even want to give her name because I'm not about outing people. Like, it makes no sense. And the thing is, she has tons of subscribers, right? She is very popular. I could have very easily capitalized on this video by saying her name and tagging her. And because I've seen that happen before where people blow up their channel by outing somebody else and you may get some negative responses but you still gonna get those numbers gonna get those views and if you're thinking about this whole thing is just transactional and you're not caring about anybody's feelings you can definitely grow by putting some uh negative information out there about somebody because there's gonna be people who agree with you who are like oh yeah i saw that video too i thought that was messed up or there's also going to be people to be like oh um you know, I'm just going to throw out a name. Sally is great. You know, why are you trash talking her? Whatever. But it's still a view. But I'm not going to do that. I am not going to do that. Because I saw somebody um, grow like that who did a video because they were accusing a bigger. They were a very small YouTube channel like mine. And they were accusing a larger YouTube channel of kind of stalking their channel and using their ideas and blowing up with their ideas. And so... They said that they had gotten tired of this large YouTube channel doing that. So they decided to call them out. And even though there was a lot of um, backlash from that person's subscribers and whatever, she also grew, blew up in like two weeks from doing that. So I could have easily went that route and tried to do that. But it's not worth it to me. Like I'm only talking to, to y'all about it because of the way it made me feel. Um... You know, I just felt like that was just, it wasn't cool because you don't know. You just, you never know. You don't know what people's mental states are. You don't know what people are dealing with. I mean, I just think about everything. Like that lady could have been borrowing somebody else's phone to check her email and respond because she don't have access to, like, you just don't know. I can come up with a million <laughs> different scenarios and that's what I do. I always give people the benefit of the doubt. 
until they give me a reason to. I don't always judge based on one thing I saw. You know what I mean? Because uh, you just don't know. Can y'all tell? I'm heated, frustrated, and I'm going to go live, and I'm not even talking about anything like this. My live today is about being advocates for ourselves and taking control of our health journey and our wellness journey, mind, body, and soul, or mind, body, and spirit, like being the person who is in charge and not just taking the expert's word for it, like researching medication, um, studying the Bible for yourself and not just depending on what your pastor or spiritual leader says, um, things like that. Uh, so yeah, nothing about this kind of stuff, but it's just that I did a TikTok about it when it first happened. And there were some people who were like, well, people will use you. And, um, I've been the kind of person before where I just gave without any expectation but then when I needed people they weren't there for me and I'm like okay I get it but that's not without expectation then you gave expecting that when you needed them they would be there for you everybody doesn't have the same capability everybody doesn't have the same resources like these are all perfect world scenarios in a perfect world that's how it would work but this world isn't perfect so you just have to decide when you're giving if you can afford to give without getting a response, without getting it reciprocated, you know, cause not only afford monetarily, can you afford mentally? Is it gonna mess with you too much in your mind if you don't get the same in return? Because there, there's no guarantee. And sometimes the people we give to are the people we give to. And then there are other people who give to us. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like you're not always going to get from the same people. And so that's why I feel like it's a blessing to be a blessing because you're going to receive a blessing, but quit looking for that blessing to come from the person you gave it to, right? Because every day we have on this earth to be able to have one more chance to do better, to do good, whatever, is a blessing. And why not look at it that every opportunity you've had, every day that you've had is a result of the things that you've done and the things that you've put out there. And you're receiving because of what you're given, but not necessarily from who you've given. Does that make sense, y'all? I mean, I'm not trying to be all super duper deep or whatever, but it's just like, those are the things I look at my payback, so to speak, way different. Way different. Like whenever anything happens in my favor, I believe that, yeah. I'm going to keep giving. I'm going to keep doing because I know what's required of me as a human being and my beliefs. And so I believe we reap what we sow. But again, you may not reap it from that harvest. You know what I mean? I think I said you know what I mean enough. So y'all probably know what I mean. But yeah, I just had my hair up in some pen curls, y'all. Um... When did I get this done? So I'm going on like four or five days with this most recent silk press. And my go-to is always just to wrap it because that's really the only thing that I know how to do. But this week, I just wanted a little more body. The wrap was kind of played out for a minute. And so I've been pin curling it. As you can see, not the neatest pin curls, but I've really been trying to follow the pattern of the curl and just kind of push it up and pin it and it's been doing pretty good I've done this like four or five days like I said and so we'll see what it turns out like today I'm always surprised every time because <laughs> I don't really have a method that I use but I've been more and I've been pin curling it kind of loose look at that got some body body yaddy yaddy pin curling it kind of loose because I didn't really want tight curls and I've put no heat on my hair because that's another thing too. When I 
pin curl it, the fuzziness isn't as noticeable. You know what I mean? Oh gosh, why do I keep saying do you know what I mean? I'm not even a you know what I mean person, but I guess I am today. Because I sure am saying it. Look at that, y'all. Look like she know how to do her hair a little bit. That gray, I'm trying to figure out, do I want to color it? I'm going to color it because I'm getting a sew in on the 17th. And you know, sew in is all about the blend. So, and it's kind of falling, like it's cutting layers and it's really not, but I just did the top ones a little looser so you can see a difference, but I'm happy with it. I think I'm good to go. I'm just going to throw on some earrings. Today is February 1st, first day of Black History Month. So I'm wearing my Rosa Parks t-shirt, one of my Rosa Parks t-shirts because I realized today I have like three. So yeah, Black History Month. We talked about Black History Month a little bit this morning on Miss T with the T. I was fortunate enough to be on the panel with her today. But yeah, so that's that. So y'all, I just wanted to have that little chit chat, little story time, little get ready with me and get you all's opinion on what you think of that whole situation with the uh, young lady not responding and just see what do y'all think about that or how would you respond to that? Do you think that that YouTuber responded correctly? Would that have kind of been the way you would have been thinking? Or are you more on my end like you're giving it, she followed the rules, there was no expectation. I'm just curious for y'all to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. And I also wanted to kind of just give a lesson or a message in true life coach and true emotional intelligence expert style that we can't put these unfair expectations on people and we can't make these assumptions that people are this or that based on one small interaction. We all have our good days and our bad days. We all have times where we're going through something and maybe don't respond to things the way our highest self would respond. Um, there are people who have different issues such as maybe social anxiety, social awkwardness, they're not, they don't have good inter, interpersonal skills, whatever. And so they don't use a lot of words, a lot of fluff. There are also people who are just very direct. This is what you asked me to do. Um, so I'm going to do it. And so I just wanted to make us all more aware and a little sensitive to those things to not be so quick to judge someone by their immediate response and just judge the hold of that person and assume that they're rude or assume that they're entitled or ungrateful or just a mean person because they don't give us the response that we expect. And then also for us to be a little more careful when we are making judgments of people and be able to look at ourselves and the times where maybe the shoe was on the other foot and we weren't the person who responded correctly. Because like I said, I sent this young lady not one of my books. I sent her all three of my books because she's a married woman. I sent her Running for Your Life, um, a weekly devotional for today's resilient woman, but I also sent her The Hallway, a weekly devotional for today's thriving couples, along with the workbook to go with The Hallway. And I haven't heard a peep from her. And I'm sure she didn't do it on purpose. I'm sure it was not intentional. I'm sure she has a lot of things going on. A lot of things probably hit her P.O. box. But the thing is, had she not done what she did to that lady, I would have never thought about it again. Once I checked the tracking to make sure that something has been received, because I just want to make sure that the post office did their job that I paid them to do. Once I know that it's been received, I let it go and I forget about it. And I promise y'all, I would have never thought about it again had she not done that. And that's the kind of giver that I want the life for tribe to be. Give it and don't think about it. Give it from your heart with the only expectation of you will reap the benefits of what you sow somewhere, somehow not necessarily from that person because everyone isn't capable. Everyone doesn't have the resources. Everyone does not respond the same. So I am done with that story. Just wanted to put it out here, but now I'm going to run out into the other room, 
see how things are set up and hopefully by this time y'all have already seen that live and I hope that you enjoyed it. So y'all know the drill. I love you all to bits and pieces and I appreciate each and every one of you for being here and spending your time with me. And always be kind. But don't forget to live your life. L-Y-F-E. Love yourself first explicitly. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye. I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch.